Hello there everybody, this is Graham, I'm as the Collector 75. Welcome to uh, another Transformers review. Uh, this is, um, who is this? This is Dark of the Moon Vortex. Now I believe he was a Takara exclusive. Um, I picked him up at Rollout Roll Call for the princely sum of £15. Um, he didn't come with his collector's card or instructions or anything, but I'm not too bothered about that. For 15 quid, this is a figure I've been after for quite some time. Um, but before I get to this figure, um, I'm just going to show you what came to from, uh, arrived for me in the post, or if you want to call it. Um, this is from Sir Toys. Um, this was a giant oversized, oh, I can't remember his name now, is it um, Ransack from one of those films, probably Revenge of the Fallen maybe. Um, it's quite big and falls apart quite easy, pardon me, but it still looks kind of cool. We'll pop him in the background over there. Uh, what else did I get today? I've got the um, extra little bits for the KO Giant Mastermind Creations Predator King or whatever his name is, Feral Rex. Um, so I'm going to add those bits on whenever I can get to him. Put those over there. And what else did I get today? Oh yeah, I got my oversized Creo Bruticus. Um, that looks pretty cool. I can't wait to build that actually. Um, yeah, I haven't actually got any other ones, but I did want Bruticus because I do like Bruticus. Um, right, so anyway, let's get on with um, this guy. So yes, yeah, so I got him from Rollout Roll Call for £15, and yeah, I really liked it. Um, I never, I didn't actually know if he was complete, I assumed he was. I did ask the guy, but I don't always trust the guy who's selling it, especially the guy that I got it off. Um, yeah, anyway, but that's another story. So anyway, so this is Vortex, yes, and he was a Takara, I think he's, a, yeah, he was a Takara exclusive. Um, obviously he's got landing gear, I'm going to flip that away for now. Um, yeah, so he was a Takara exclusive, but he was a remold, repaint of, I think it was Hunt for the Decepticons, Tomahawk. I can't remember if I actually got that one. Um, but instead of coming with the weird missile launchers, he does come with this weird mech tech weapon, which I absolutely detest, these weapons. That doesn't look too bad on the front, but it doesn't look great either. And then he's got the, the usual little gimmick, you pull that, and it extends... That has got to be one of the worst gimmicks they could ever come out with. I'd rather them not bothered with that and just give us a couple of guns. Still, there we go. Um, you can extend these tail fins like that to give him a more traditional type look of a helicopter, but it looks more like a shark's tail fin to me. Um, I really like it. You could just imagine this guy flying along. Like that. Oh, I just like it. Uh, right, so we're going to transform this now. Now. I haven't transformed this quite a while, but I did transform this easily enough without the instructions the first time I got it. Uh, I'm just going to readjust my camera slightly. Um, so first of all, I am going di to disconnect these legs because they're all sort of tabbed in just under there. Get them out of the way first. Then we're going to split the tail fin like so, and then that should just sort of detect it. De disconnect from there, raise these up slightly um, and we'll get these out of the way s sometime later. Uh, right, then we're going to start pulling bits about, we're going to move this around, open this cockpit up, um, going to get that robot head out right away, it's got kind of cool robot head. Um, then what am I doing? Right, let's start getting some of these bits out of the way. Um, as you can tell, I can't really remember exactly how to transform this. Um, which is always fun, I find. We're going to rotate that around. That gives us his hands. Um, and then what are we doing? We are going to start moving stuff around. This, I think, comes down. It's been a while. Anyway, right, so that comes down there. Let's get this bloody robot head out. There we go. And rotate that around. If you can see what I'm actually doing would help. Get around here, you bugger. Right. And we're going to close this up in a minute. That's got to go under there. Right, so then we are almost here. Maybe that comes down here, actually. And then that rotates down slightly into there. That's a bit more like it, isn't it? And then these rotate around. Oh, hello. That didn't sound very good. Um, and then they can stay down there. And then you can sort of position these any way you like. Let me just move that up a bit. Right, so then we have Vortex here. Pretty almost much done done just going to rotate these around these bloody wing wherever they are do get in the way don't they and you can rotate these up and out of the way um right hold on one second uh what we've still got to do is legs haven't we 
Right, so then we get these bits. And these have to fold out from somewhere. That's it. So you rotate them all around. And that gives us this hill spur just there like that. I'll take that around like that. That did flummox me the first time I actually got this out. I thought it was a very short, <laughs> short robot. And then you realise, yeah, oh yeah, I haven't actually rotated them out. Anyway, right, so then that gives us vortex. Why is one leg shorter than the other? It's because I've repositioned them wrong. Anyway, right, but then that, oh, I'm sticking to a plastic bag. Um, there we go. And there we have vortex in his robot mode um you can do what you like with those rotor blades you can sort of hang them hang them out to the side there um and for me that is a pretty damn good robot mode now the reason one thing i've forgotten um if i remember right that you do rotate that up and around that's a bit better isn't it eh? and i know you could do something with that weapon there we go so then that that can give him like a chomping saw blade thing the only thing is, every time you go to move his arms, these just move a bit too freely for my liking. Um, but you can't say he does not look cool. I actually think that is a very, very, very good robot. And if you come down here, that is a great head sculpt. Very reminiscent of the old G1 Vortex. You can give him his mech tech weapon um, in his hand, I assume. Yeah, there we go. So then he's got a gun. And he looks pretty damn good if you want my opinion definitely a favour of mine there well worth 15 quid what more could you want I love it also love it how in the background here you can see these hanging down here and then these bits up here very reminiscent of his old G1 self with his um, four rotor blades I like that that's pretty cool isn't it eh? um, yeah can't go wrong with that one um, I don't think there's any more I want to say about this figure other than very well worth it if you've got the tomahawk i think that is actually pretty good um other than this one i was going to get the um i can't remember if it was a botcon exclusive or some sort of exclusive i think they did spinister um in this using this mold and that looked pretty good but that was always a bit pricey people wanted like that 45 to 50 quid for that and yeah that was a little bit pricey for me uh so when i saw this 15 quid yeah yeah i like that right um i think that is it um yeah great little toy well worth picking up bye for now